Welcome. In front of me is a Samsung Tab Active and today I will show you how you can enable and also set up your portable hotspot. To get started, let's pull down our notifications by swiping down from the top of the screen and swipe down once again in this panel to extend the list of toggles. One of those toggles should be a hotspot toggle. For me it is over here, named Mobile Hotspot. And if you don't see it on the first page, you could swipe to the left. This will show you additional pages. Like I said, for me, it's on the first page. Once you see it, if you're doing this the first time, which judging by the fact that you're watching this, you most likely are, you want to hold this toggle and this will take you to the settings. Now, the reason you want to navigate here for the very first time is because here we will find our hotspot password. So we can select configure. Now, as you can also see, the password that is randomly generated by the device is absolutely horrendous. So I recommend selecting it and completely getting rid of it because, like I said, it's absolutely horrendous. Now, your new password will need to have at least eight characters in length. That can be letters, numbers, both. It doesn't really matter. So there we go. Now, for some reason, the name of the hotspot right here is Fairphone 4. Um, not sure what that's about, but by default, it should have a name, uh, something along the lines of Tab Active uh, or Samsung Tab, whatever it is, but something with the actual branding of the device that we're using instead of the Fairphone. So I'm going to keep it as it is. It doesn't really uh, affect anything, the name right here. The only thing that this changes is the way the hotspot will be displayed on other devices in the uh, Wi-Fi network list. So instead of looking for this device, you're looking for a Wi-Fi name uh, Fairphone 4 5G. Might be a little bit confusing, that's why it's a bit weird that it's named like that. Uh, I just wanted to point that out. Now, below that we have two additional settings. Uh, we have the AP band and we have security. Security I recommend keeping as it is. Uh, I highly don't recommend again uh, I'm turning that off if you turn off your uh, security anyone could technically connect to your hotspot and use your mobile network and do any kind of sketchy uh, crap on it so don't recommend doing that now the ap band on the other hand gives us two options the four uh, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz uh, wi-fi bands now just to just to, uh, clarify this uh, the 2.4 will be enabled by default and it will be the one that is basically used by every device that has any kind of Wi-Fi connectivity. But if you're looking for the most optimal experience, assuming your device will support it, the 5 GHz will be faster and more stable compared to the 2.4. Now, uh, the downside of this is uh, newer devices will support 5 GHz and nowadays uh, Devices that have been released in the past like three years, almost all of them support uh, Wi-Fi 5 gigahertz, so you shouldn't have much of a problem. But if you have some kind of older device, maybe an older laptop, uh, chances are it might not support 5 gigahertz. And if you don't know if it supports it or not, but you would like to check, what you could do is simply enable it. And when you're looking for your Wi-Fi, just to demonstrate this, so if I enable it, save it, and then turn on my hotspot, like so. If I grab my phone, now my phone will see this, I want to point it out, but if you grab my phone, it shows up right here. As you can see, it is in the list, it is enabled and I can connect to it with the password. Now, if this device wouldn't support Wi-Fi 5 gigahertz, I just simply wouldn't see this at all. It would not show up in the Wi-Fi list. So if that is something that you're experiencing, that you know your hotspot is enabled, but your device just simply doesn't see it at all, that means that it just doesn't support it. And to fix that problem, obviously we just go back here and change it back to 2.4 and the problem will resolve. So there we go. So once you have set it all up, you can toggle it on and off quickly by just tapping on the toggle right over here. And one additional info that I will add is once you're done using your hotspot, I recommend trying to remember about it because hotspot will use more of your tablet's battery. So if you're not using it, there's really no reason for it to be running in the background. So you just basically go back here like so and tap on it to turn it off. 
So, with that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.